Second question to the group. Were there any group members that had either a book, a program, or anything they want to announce? Because I'll then give you time for that. Okay, I see Arthur. Anybody else? Um, okay, so, so Arthur, let me let you get your minute in uh, right now while everyone's still here, which was my promise. And then we'll extend the session for five minutes for those that have other questions. So Arthur, go ahead, and then I'll get back to uh, the, the queue that we had. David Orton is up next after that. Go ahead, Arthur. Well, very exciting uh, presentation, Glenn, and thank you so much. Uh, I especially like the thing you were saying about money, and I think our need to create uh, uh, world money, uh, and that, that's a whole different issue. But the announcement is that uh, we, uh, as some of you know, uh, we're, we have amazing opportunity to have our film now on public television stations across the country in April, and we have a GoFundMe uh, which we are working on right now. We, we did, we're doing it in cooperation with uh, Rotary International because we figured this may be a way to draw in more funders. Uh, what we need is uh, uh, we're, try, we're trying to raise right now 20,000, which is crucial for having the station relations rep, the, the, the promotional person we need to get a big uh, audience and so on. And uh, I'll put the GoFundMe in the chat, or if Melanie, if you're listening, if you could stick that in the chat right now, I'd appreciate it. Uh, but what it, what we're what we'd love is everybody to just come and you know, even if it's a little bit or more, it helps push our our thing and get it going. Uh, it's we're doing it as a salute to Rotary because we thought you know there's little ads before uh, uh, PR before this public television stations, and they're not called ads; they're called underwriting spots, but they're sort of the same thing except you can't say bye bye. <laughs> and uh, we're doing it that way because we think that'll attract more uh, of, of some other funders. But it's really basically to get the film uh, really promoted and out there on TV. So we'd love if all of you could just go to that GoFundMe and join in. I don't see Melanie typing it in, so I will. What it is, is just go to theworldismycountry.com slash rotary, and you can kick into the GoFundMe. Every little bit hurts. If it helps. If it's just it, five bucks, it'll help. <laughs> it, it is in there now. And thank you. Yes, you've, you, you, we, we're in overtime yeah. right yeah. now. So thank yeah. you. Melanie has it in there. The GoFundMe. You'll see it there. Okay, okay. great. Lynn, I see so your hand. Save the chat by clicking on the little dots in the corner okay. and save. Thank you, Arthur. We must move on. Lynn, was that an announcement too for an event or something? You're on mute, Lynn. I just wanted to clarify with Glenn that this would be um, back due. This justice that you spoke of would also be back due. What from, do you mean by that? From, from our non-global government times when um, certain countries had more burdens than others. Yeah, it, it, they don't want to, you know, it's not going to be an oppressive system. Everybody's represented in it, but we really do have to make major systemic transformations, right? You can't have sovereign nation states owning, you know, Brazil owning the lungs of the earth, you know, and destroying them. You can't have uh, this competition of different currencies. So if I if I go to Togo, for example, where we have a chapter, one U.S. dollar is worth seven thousand of their currency, right? And so if I have ten dollars, I'm I'm super rich. We have to we we're going to have to without undue uh, burden on anybody. We're going to have to transform this world system. It just is not. It's it's unjust. It's power based. It's exploitative. It's got to be changed. And, uh, and you know, I, the world parliament has the mandate to do that. It has the power and the authority to do that. Good. Thank you. We had um, David, um, oh, God, Arthur and Gail in the queue. Then we'll wrap up. So take it away, David Ort. When several times in the Constitution, it talks about the five continents but they're not explicit in the Constitution, as no. far as I know, although you did uh, uh, mention them. But the problem with the five that you mentioned is whether Russia is part of Europe or part of Asia, whether the Middle East is part of Asia, whether Australia is part of Asia. So no. how would all those questions be decided? By the World Parliament. Uh, uh, um you know, the, the World Elections and Boundaries Administration that we, we covered a moment ago, you know, it, its job is to make sure these, these electoral districts are all equitable, and, but, but also its job is to divide them into larger groupings, 
right? So uh, there's uh, there's ten magna regions, twenty, and and so as the as it's dividing them, it would make the you know the administrative decision where Europe stopped and where it began in terms of Russia and so on, and and as uh, just for me to repeat, I don't think the world parliament will be torn apart by political bigotry like the U.S. Congress is. I think the world parliament will be there with a mandate to do well for everybody and they'll be working together to do everything. So this whole idea of political parties, uh, you know, with their rabid uh, dog uh, ideologies will be gone. And uh, um, so I don't think it'll be a big deal, you know, when people divide, say, okay, uh, Asia stops here. What are we going to do with Australia and those kind of questions? Great. Thank you, Glenn. Uh, Arthur, did you have a question for Glenn or was that uh, your announcement that you made before? Uh, no, I do have a question. And Great. That, Fire away. I, I, on, the, on the thing that you mentioned about the fact that money is created privately, this is something that, you know, across left to right, people are worried about. Even the people storming the Capitol, they, they hate that the central banks uh, uh, control an economy that actually doesn't work for the people and actually is, is, is making people less poor. How, uh, I think that's sort of a key to moving this forward. Do you see ways that the idea of creating a, 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 a democratic global currency, especially with all the cyber currencies and things happening, new opportunities for moving that forward in a big way. I, I think the only way to, I, I you know, there's, uh, we, we work with uh, one uh, group called MANA, right, that have a digital currency that's called MANA. And this, uh, it's a, an alternative to Bitcoin uh, and it's free, right? So you can, you know, they have an NGO and, uh, you can get a wallet and, and insofar as they grow, as mana grows and becomes more, they just distribute the money to everybody, right? That's a good thing. So we're, we're for that kind of thing, uh, spreading the idea of uh, alternative communities, uh, uh, currencies and fair currencies. But ultimately, it's got to be done for the world, right? Because the global powers in the world uh, if you read Ellen Brown's book, for example, you know, she gives all kinds of examples, currency manipulation, right? So the United States, if it wants to bring down Chile after they elected a democratically elected Allende in 1970, it manipulates the Chilean currency to make it, you know, crash and so on. The, you've got to stop this absurdity of power being in charge of currencies and make, make money, as I was saying, a public utility for everybody, right? right? And and we we passed uh, the Provisional World Parliament passed uh, one Provisional World Legislative Act uh, with a guaranteed annual income for everybody, right? Uh, w once once the uh, digital revolution takes all these jobs away from people and machines and robots are doing these jobs, people are going to need an income. And the world government can easily supply this because money creation is not created as debt. Great. Thank you, Glenn. Gail, you have the last word. And since you're also uh, the coordinator of the book club, you can bring us to a close and remind people of the, the next session. 